If I had governed like this, I would have destroyed Rome by now. Six traitors have ridiculed the Roman Empire in your palace and then fled. And no one can do anything about it. Emperor, I suspected them from the very beginning. Especially that arrogant Maximilian. But it was that same arrogant Maximilian who humiliated and ridiculed all of us. He chewed up the very beliefs you were defending and then spat them out. And it was you, Diocletian, whose incompetence allowed them to escape. But they will never escape my clutches. Your Highness, rest assured, they will be arrested and subjected to the most severe punishment. Listen here, Diocletian. I am leaving here today and heading towards Jerusalem. If I receive news that you have arrested and punished them before my arrival there, you will be spared. If not, it will be the end of Diocletian, the commander of the Fifth Legion of the Empire of Rome. Maximilian, Diocletian's son-in-law, was a Christian. Five or six of his advisors, it seems, were also Christian. But nobody knew. Who would have thought that people who seemed so kind and caring were actually so foul and two-faced? And what about the way they disrespect the Emperor of Rome? That is far worse. But I don't think they are bad people just because their beliefs differ from ours. There are people who worship our gods, but are foul. Like Julius. I cannot lie. I find I still respect them greatly. I do not know. I really do not know. The breaking of the idols. And the burning of the temples was also their doing. You were not there to see how they disgraced our gods and ridiculed our sanctities. This shows Diocletian's incompetence. He cannot even control a bunch of traitors and pagans. I think Diocletian knew about this all along. But he didn't say anything to Maximilian for the sake of his daughter Helen. If we stay silent and refrain from defending our beliefs, and our gods, we will surely be subjected to their wrath and will be destroyed. But I think if the gods were capable of destroying anything or anyone, there is no greater enemy to be destroyed than Maximilian and Diocletian's advisors. When you yourself disgrace our gods in such a way, how can we expect anything more from Maximilian and his friends? <laughs> would have ripped them to shreds if the Emperor had allowed it. If they were punished right away, they wouldn't have had the chance to escape. People are beginning to believe that their god saved them from the wrath of the Emperor. This is just nonsense. How could they have been rescued by a god who cannot even be seen and whose appearance we do not recognize? I don't know what kind of god that is. But I do know that our gods were incapable of defending themselves and punishing those traitors. I hope I do not offend you by saying this, but it seems their god is more capable than ours. Your Highness, this man says our gods should have taken revenge if they had the power to do so. He says that our gods are incapable. It is not a question of the gods' ability or inability. You see, Your Highness, I say that a wise person should never abandon 
common sense. I have been thinking to myself for a while whether it is possible to avoid a war between those who worship Jupiter, Apollon, and the other gods, and those who worship the Lord and his son Christ. Cannot this hostility be turned into a friendly relationship? You mean to say there is nothing wrong with abandoning our gods and worshipping the Christian god instead? I believe that what we are fighting over is just a name. And this is a meaningless battle. I don't understand. You mean they accept our gods and have merely altered the names? I think that is exactly the case. In actuality, there is no difference between those who worship the Christian God and those who worship the gods of Rome. The Romans worship Jupiter while they worship God, which are just two names for one being. We believe that Apollon is the son of God and they believe that Jesus was the son of God. Those two beliefs are the same. I don't believe what you say is true. Maximilian and his friends were speaking of monotheism, and they do not believe that God has a son. If what you are saying is true, we face an ominous threat. We must prevent the spread of this kind of thinking, otherwise, it may encourage the worshippers of Jupiter to convert to Christianity. Your Highness, what is the problem with people choosing their own religion? Oh. What we want is for them to have faith. Oh. The God's name makes no you difference. You fool! The treasures of the gods are in our possession. The offerings and gifts given to the gods are all Ours! If those who praise the gods of Rome convert to Christianity instead, what do you think will happen to our authority? But people do not think like we do. Whether we like it or not, people will convert to Christianity in droves. This cave is a, a quiet and calm place. Eat, animal. If we are blessed with luck and are not found too soon, we can stay here in this cave for a few days as God's guests, as we have nothing else to eat. And whose guests were we before now? We cannot create anything in and of ourselves. We can only receive the blessings given to us by God. In truth, God is the real host who gives us everything. And he will continue to bestow his gifts upon us for as long as he sees fit. With or without his sustenance, we will not last more than a few days. By the looks of this cave, when the soldiers arrive, we will be buried in here alive. Undoubtedly, he who brought us here did this with the knowledge of what is best and his will is superior to the will of others. Maximilian, may I ask you a question that has been on my mind for quite some time? I hope I can give an appropriate answer. Why is right always overshadowed by wrong? Why does God Almighty not use his power to ensure that right prevails? Why does God not show us a sign of his existence so that all praise him without doubt? Do you want God to take away your greatest asset, your free will? If we've used our free will to uphold what is right and to eliminate what is wrong, we have taken the path of faith and made use of our greatest asset. If not, we would be no different from those species that have faith but no free will. Don't you think that the dominance of idol worship and tyranny and the spread of corruption are against God's will? Does God want wrong to prevail over right? 
I do not know. I do not know. How right will prevail over wrong. But I feel that the truth will eventually reveal itself and prevail. But when? Only God, only God knows. A verse from the Bible, which Maximilian always recites. What I tell you in darkness, you must repeat in daylight. And what is whispered in your ear you must shout from the rooftops. Will that day come? Will the day come when monotheists prevail over idol worshippers? But how? How, Maximilian? I do not know. I do not know how. There is no doubt that the truth will prevail. But it's possible this will not happen during our lifetime and future generations will witness it instead. Did you hear that? I feel like we are not alone. It is as if someone is watching over us. I am so tired. I don't know if it's just me who's so sleepy or if you all feel the same thing. It is taking all my strength to keep my eyes open. One of us must stay awake in this situation. You should rest. The long journey and the lack of sleep last night has left us all exhausted. All of you should rest. Do not rush. Your Highness, Maximilian, hmm? I slept well last night. And I'm not as tired as you are. You rest. I will stay awake. All right, Antonius. All right. I'm so tired. Go to sleep. Sleepy in my entire life. It is as if I have no control over my desire to sleep. Exhausted. Are you going to sleep as well, Kitmir? <laughs> mm. Everyone fell asleep so quickly. Mm. 
It's very strange, Kidmir. How did you fall asleep with your eyes open? I've never seen you sleep like that before. <laughs> I promised to stay awake and keep watch, but I'm so tired I cannot. I hope nothing will happen. I just sleep here for a, a few. Who made it? If I sleep for a few minutes, I'll be able to guard better. I, I just hope Maximilian will forgive me. Cannot help myself. I will wake up soon. His Highness Maximilian was being tortured when he told me to enlighten the people. He told me to tell the people how Monotheus defied the Emperor of Rome in the palace and destroyed Emperor Hadrian's idol, as well as those of other gods. He asked me to tell you that God is your protector your religion will one day spread across the world and attract a great many followers. Let it be known that those gallant men in Diocletian's court fought against the false gods in order to revive monotheism. Yes, they insist on taunting us and saying our religion belongs to servants and slaves, and beggars. And now we see that high-ranking noblemen worship and follow our religion. And this is proof of the truthfulness of the religion of our Lord Christ. Those gallant men were not only monotheists themselves, but they were the guides of the many others who came before them. Yes, that is true. Those men were truly brave and fearless. Challenging the Emperor is not an easy thing to do. And Diocletian, too. Humiliating him requires great courage. Oh, Jesus, son of Mary. Befriend them. He will certainly befriend them. They are not clever or capable enough to detain Maximilian and his friends. If they could, they would have arrested them by now. Friends, I think they are on their way to Antioch. No one will be able to arrest them. If I were in their shoes, I would head toward the White Sea and exit Roman territory that way. Yes. No, Tartus is the best place for these men to hide. Do not argue. Maximilian knows best what to do. Friends, let us pray for their salvation together. Dear God, these brave men fought in your name. Be with them and protect them from Diocletian soldiers. Amen. Amen! You were supposed to guard every inch of the city. What happened? We have not rested for a moment, but we have not found any link between the people of the city and the SAPs. How is it possible that there is no link between them? Finding the link requires competence which the two of you do not possess. Your Highness, you can be sure that we will leave no stone unturned. Yeah. Your Highness, we have searched all the roads and paths yeah. surrounding the city. Messengers have been sent to every single village and city. We will leave no place unsearched. We will find them wherever they are. You can be sure that time is against you. If you do not detain them before the Emperor's arrival in Jerusalem, 
You will have to prepare yourselves for crucifixion. Matthias? Yes, Your Highness. I believe you will find him. I have no other choice. If I do not... Oh, Jupiter the Great, help me. Let me see, Matthias. How do you feel about a large estate near Philadelphia? A large estate in Philadelphia? In exchange for what? I don't want you to bring Maximilian back alive. Eventually they will be killed anyway. It is more certain this way. And you will be awarded a grand estate. Yes. He will be killed upon arrest. And Lady Helen will be within your reach. And maybe even the crown and throne. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Give me your sword. My lady, the soldiers have searched everywhere. They have been searching for two days and nights, but they still haven't found them. I must also tell you that Julius was hollering with anger. And he was not alone. Diocletian was screaming at them incessantly. You can be certain there is no way they will find them. I hope that God will keep them safe and give them a refuge. The voice within me tells me I will never see Maximilian again. What are you saying? The devout must always have faith in God's mercy. Something within me tells me that I will never see him again. But I dreamt he had returned. And I was talking to him. I am sure that it was Maximilian. And I was a young girl. Do not worry. These strange dreams are brought on by all the anxiety. My poor mistress. We are looking for six fugitives. The escapees are noblemen of Rome and advisors to Diocletian who have committed treason against the emperor and the gods of Rome. Their punishment is death. If anyone has given them shelter, or has any knowledge of their whereabouts and does not come forward, he will face the same punishment. The fugitives believe in the new religion, claiming to be followers of Jesus of Nazareth. They have denounced our gods and insulted the emperor. So anyone who has news of them and will assist our guards in our search will win himself the gratitude of His Highness Diocletian, who will no doubt reward him handsomely. I believe I may have seen them. You have seen them? Uh, uh, I have seen them. So They're speak up. The murder, Tell them. Sure. You. It seems you have something to say. No. Me? Yes, you. Your Highness. Matthias requests your permission to enter. Mm. Let him in.
Your Highness, we have managed to trace the escapees. Huh? The guards are currently searching everywhere to arrest them. Where are they? In a village called Rakim, near Philadelphia. Well done, Matthews. Prepare my carriage. I will go there myself. Let's go. The ship is behind. He's even abandoned the cattle. He must have gone with the fugitives. There is no place to hide here. Their crime must have been severe, and they must be hiding in the cave. They say they are up in the mountains. Someone has seen them climbing up. It is very strange. How did Antonius know them? Maybe he did not know them. Maybe he just went along as a guy. No, I don't think so. I believe Antonius was like them. I've never heard him mention the gods or offer sacrifices in their honor. Regardless, he was not a bad person. He was a shepherd in this village for years, and we have never seen him do wrong. It seems their crime is very severe. And if they are caught, they will be killed. Hey! All escape routes must be entirely blocked. Your Highness, the man who saw the fugitives hey! is here. Go ahead and tell me what you saw. Yesterday morning, when I was traveling along Mount Angelos, I saw a few suspicious persons climbing the mountain. How many people did you see? Five, six people. Uh, I couldn't see clearly, uh, but I could tell that they were strangers. How can you be so certain? I know the people of my village, sir. They didn't look like locals, they didn't dress like them either. I could easily tell that they were not from around here. I think they were from the city. I wanted to follow them, find out what they were up to, but I decided against it. How did you know they were from the city? They were wearing expensive clothing. I was curious to know what they were doing here. I wasn't sure what to do. But as it was no business of mine, I didn't interfere until today when your guards told us they were escaped prisoners. I am certain that if it weren't for this man, you would never have managed to trace the fugitive so quickly. This man deserves a reward. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Julius, hurry. Instruct the guards to thoroughly search the entire mountain. Carefully. Matthias, start the search. Men, get going. You, come with us. We will undoubtedly succeed. Let's go, get going. Come on, let's go. Keep moving, get going. Let's go. Get going. Thank you. 
me your hand, sir. I don't think they are here. I saw them with my own eyes, Your Highness. I am very hopeful. We must have hope. Otherwise, that man sitting down there has it in for us. Let's go. Here. If they came to this mountain, they are certainly still here. Maybe there is a secret hideout somewhere in this Yes, mountain. there is. There is a large cave. Is it a long way to the cave? No, it's nearby. Well, let's get going. How can we be certain that what the villagers saw was right? Don't be so hasty. We must have patience. Julius? Do you think the escapees are there? I'm confident, Your Highness. Based on what the villagers saw, there were five or six of them, dressed in nobleman's attire. Who else could they be? They have no escape. I see it. It's over there. Uh, the cave is there. Everyone come here. Everyone this way. fugitives in there? I don't know. It is over, gentlemen. You have been surrounded. Come out. You must surrender and come outside. There is no chance of escape. You have no other choice. Get out! You and you. Go inside. Be careful. To you. They were all. They, was they were all in there. They Their were all were open. dead. They were all ah, lying control down. Control yourself. They were dead. What <laughs> you saw? Ah, 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 ah,
Tell me what you saw. They, 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 they were dead. No, 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 no. They were alive. They were alive. You fool. Look at this brave officer of the Roman army. The fugitives are here. The fugitives are here. Your Highness, the fugitives have been found. They have been surrounded in a cave. Calm down. What happened? C calm down here. <laughs> what, what has happened to you? It Please, calm so down. Just follow me. Tell me what has happened inside the cave. T calm down. Just tell me what's happened in there. Calm. Calm down, sir. Calm down, Your Highness. Let me go. Calm down. Let me go. Calm down. Uh, Calm down. It was terrifying. What has happened? Terrifying. You must tell me what's happened. Uh, Calm down. Uh, let Just me go. Try to relax and calm. Uh, uh. Imbeciles. What is this rubbish you're telling me? Are you clowns or guards? What do you mean you cannot get close to them? What do you mean? What do you mean? What are they saying, Julius? Are you ridiculing me? Believe us, your highness. You can see it for yourself. It was very terrifying. Terrifying. Even our most courageous soldiers could not get close to them. I cannot tell whether they are dead or alive, whether they are humans or saints. The light of their eyes was blinding. They were horrifying. They were frightening, your highness. They were terrifying. Shut up, you coward. That is enough, Matthias. If his highness sees fit, he should go inside the cave and see for himself. They are abnormal beings, your highness. They, they were- That is they... enough! I'm afraid if a few more people go inside the cave, they will be turned into saints. What nonsense. Julius? Yes, sir. Come with me. I will not leave here until I am sure they are all dead, Julius. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Be calm, my lady. Mary. Be calm. <laughs> Do not let anxiety take over, my lady. God protect them. Have faith in God. <laughs> if Letian differs from his commanders, he will arrest them for sure. Everything is in the hands of God. If Diocletian and Julius capture them, they will have no mercy on them. <laughs> Don't worry, my lady. If Matthias and Claudius could not succeed, then Diocletian won't be able to find them either. Have patience. Be patient and we will see what happens. It is a dog. 
Whoever beheld their greatness was overcome with fear and fled. Ah! Oh my god, ah! oh! Oh! So their eyes. Your Highness, Your Highness, don't go any further. Stop, don't go any further. Calm down. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness, what is it? What happened? Say something! Why are you so petrified? Say something! What did you see inside that cave? Say something, Your Highness! What have they done to you, Your Highness? Uh, have they cursed you, Your uh, Highness? Oh, uh, the cave. Uh, uh, Calm down, Your Highness. Uh, it was... But block the entrance of the cave. Block the Calm. entrance of that cave. So they die in there. They must be buried alive in no. there. They must be buried alive in there. They must be buried alive. They must be buried alive. They must be buried alive. Buried alive. No. Buried alive. No. Buried Certainly, alive. Certainly, as you wish. No, no, don't do this, Father. Don't do this. I beg you. I beg you, Father, please. Get out of here, Helen. Just leave. I beg you, Father. Please, Father, have mercy upon me. Forgive them! I told you, leave, Helen! Forgive them! I beg you, Your Highness. We have no one but them. If you insist any more, you will be buried alive with them. Take them away! Get out of so here! take us too! Be gone! Bury us with them! Bury us with them! I don't want to live anymore! I don't want to live. I don't want to be alive. I don't Calm want down. to live. Lady Helen. I don't want to live. Calm down. Calm down. I do not want to live. Sir Alius. Yes, Your Highness. Have this mountain surrounded for three months straight so that no one tries to rescue them. Lutos. Yes, Your Highness. Have a large tablet built and have the story of these traitors inscribed on it. Mount it above the cave as a lesson to others. Yes, sir. Julius. Yes, sir. Send a message to the Emperor. Inform him of how these traitors have been punished. Yes, sir. We will head out. What a terrifying sight it was.
dear God. How long will the dominance of these idol worshippers last? Thank you.